Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to show you how to mine Caspa on NiceHash and get paid in Bitcoin. So this is if you're not wanting to directly spec mine Caspa. Uh, this is going to be for if you want to mine Caspa directly and then be paid out in Bitcoin form. So it's for people that like myself who prefer just to be paid in Bitcoin and just to build up a savings of Bitcoin itself, because obviously that's like the main leader of the whole like cryptocurrency thing so i believe everyone probably hangs on to a little bit of bitcoin but anywho that's getting off a of track it's just more or less just for if you want a solid payout in bitcoin so this is going to allow you to do that i'll be showing you like how to download it where to sign up and how it actually runs on the mining rigs themselves because i currently have my mining rig set up and uh, running on it so i will be showing you guys like an in-person video about that but for now, let's just get started on this tutorial. So you just want to head over to nicehash.com and it's going to bring you to this web page here, right? Like the home page here itself. And as you see, it's the world's leading hash power marketplace. So connect your miners and earn Bitcoin for every share. So depending on what you want to mine, this has a lot of other algorithms on it. But for this tutorial, I'm specifically showing you Caspa. But you connect your miners and you mine whatever algorithm is most profitable for you. And then you earn Bitcoin for every share. So every just like normal mining goes for any other pool, it's the same factor. But it's just in a sense people are actually buying your hash power and it's being used for uh, their project, I believe, most of the time. I don't know if you have to specifically set something up. But that's like the backbone of NiceHash in itself. But for this part, we're just going to be focused on, on using their software, the NiceHash Miner, and getting set up there. So you want to come up to the top here and go to Mining. And on this drop down here, you want to go to mining with CPU slash GPU and click on that. And it's going to bring you to this page here, CPU slash GPU mining page. And then on the uh, right hand side, this is going to be the miner you want to keep your eye on is nice hash miner. That's the one we're going to be working with. You can use quick miner, but that's just for like people that are brand new to it. It's going to set uh, whatever algorithm is most profitable. So you might not be mining Caspa, but if you're just looking for something, if you're just looking for profitability wise, any of these miners will work. But if you want to directly mine a certain algorithm, nice hash miner is going to be a go to. So what you want to do is come over to start mining here. And it's going to bring you to this register page here once it loads up. And you just sign up and then it's just going to create your account for NiceHash so you can go ahead and download it. Or you can go back and I believe it's somewhere on here. I don't exactly know where I have to find it. It's under one of these tabs. It's to do with like the download center so you can download it by itself. So let's quickly find that and then jump back to it. All right. So I couldn't find it on like any of the drop downs here. But here I just Google searched it. It's a nice hash download center and this is going to give you the ability to download whichever like system you want so nice hash miner which is the one we're focusing on for this tutorial is right up top here and it's version 3.1.0.4 as of this video which is december 22nd as of the recording of this video but if you're more into like i said if you want to try to quick miner if you're brand new or if you're more into the os it's down here as well if you want to download that i've never used it personally but i might try it just so i can make a video on it just so we can have like an up-to-date review about it but anywho nice hash miner at the top here and you just want to click download and this is just going to download nice hash miner obviously and you can go ahead and create an account or wait till you have this installed here and then once you have it installed you can create an account rate right from the app itself or you can uh, just connect your Bitcoin wallet from NiceHash to it. So no matter what, you have to sign up in a sense. Or I'm pretty sure it's like a QR code way. They have a few different options. But we'll see here once it's done downloading. So once it's done downloading, it'll be down here on Google Chrome. It'll be on the bottom bar. And you just want to click on it, left click, and it should open up here. And as you see here, it's going to have the NiceHash miner set up. And then what you want to do is click I accept. And this is just going to accept your terms and everything. So you hit next. And then it's just going to install here. So we'll just let it do that here as we wait. But yeah, overall, this is pretty simple like software to use. You can it goes through all the algorithms NiceHash has. But then it gives you the ability to actually go in and see what algorithms you're mining, turning certain ones off and on, which is what we're going to be using in the software part. Is so you can turn it off and just mine Caspa if that's what you're mining or looking to mine right now. But as you see, once it is completed the setup here, you're going to have this screen and it's going to say you want to whitelist it and it's going to give you the address of like where the uh, folder is that you want to whitelist. So how to do that is come over to the left uh, hand side of the screen on the start menu and then you go to settings. 
And once you're in settings, you want to click update and security. And once you're in update and security, you want to click Windows security. And once you're there, you want to click virus and threat protection. And then what you want to do is scroll down to virus and threat protection settings and click manage settings. Then once you're there, you want to scroll down a little more and there should be a section with exclusions. And then you click add or remove exclusions. You click yes on the pop up and then you're going to see add an exclusion. That's this big button. So what you want to do is go to where that folder is there. So see users and whatever your information is and you click add exclusion, add folder. And once this screen comes up, so you want to go to the C drive, you want to go to, I think it was users, and then your Windows account name there, and then you go to app data, and then local, and then you go to, I believe it's programs, yeah, programs, nice hash miner, and make sure you're in the nice hash miner folder, and you click select folder. And this is going to whitelist it. So just like any other, like if you've seen on my previous tutorials and such, when you go to use a miner, it marks as like a virus or threat just due to the fact it's not a signed publisher. So Windows is unsure of what it actually is. But NiceHash only allows uh, assigned miners now. So this is just, you know, extra precaution to make sure the miners are able to run and things like that. But most of the time now with NiceHash Miner and NiceHash themselves, they're just uh, making it so the mining software has to be published so Windows doesn't pick it up as a threat. But anyways, that's going to be that part of it. So if you want to run NiceHash Miner, you just leave this checked off here and then you just click Finish. But for now, once it is click finish, this should have its own window pop up and it should be like detecting your software and things like that. But I'll be hopping over to my mining rig now. All right, guys. So as we see, I'm over at my mining rig now. So I have my GTX 1650, my 21060s, and they're all mining Caspa here. As you can see, let's try to focus it in. The K heavy hash algorithm right there. This is right through nice hash miner. And this is gonna allow you, like I said, to be paid right out in Bitcoin. So, nothing to it. I'm just going to pause my mining right now, just so I can show you guys. So once you start up nice hash miner after you have it installed, this is the screen that you're going to come to, all depending what your balance and stuff is. And what this is going to do down here is tell you like if it's detecting all the like, GPUs. So I have three, which is correct, and then your one CPU, which is obviously correct. So what you want to do most of the time, it, it might not say start mining right here, it might say uh, start benchmark or something like that off the start. But either way, you just want to come over here to the devices tab. And then just make sure that all your cards are reading properly and everything is there for the corresponding name and the temperatures and everything. Make sure it all lines up. And you want to go over to the benchmark here. Now if you kind of know what you're already doing, you can go through and select and deselect all the benchmarks that you want your cards to run. So all you do is come over to the drop down here and you click on it and then there's going to be a little I believe it's like a little switch or something just got to find it here there we go so right at the end here you just click and this will enable and uh, turn off certain algorithms so when it's in the yellow there it's turned on and as you see there's no benchmark so you can just choose to benchmark all yours might be highlighted off the bat if you want you can go through and just read what all algorithms that your card can mine but for this one, we're, like I said, for the tutorial purpose, we're focusing on CASPA, which is K-heavy hash. So all you would do is come down to your graphics card, so 1063 gigabyte. And you just obviously want to turn off whichever ones that are on until you find the K-heavy hash, which is right here. Once you find K-heavy hash, you can enable that and it'll say, like, no benchmark. And then you just click down here and it should start the benchmark. And then that will give you what you're going to be making on that for your card. And then you want to do it for your other cards as well. So as you see, I have another 1060 and a 1650. So I'd scroll down, make sure K heavy hash is selected, and that's the only one I have selected. And then go back up, and then go to my 1650 and do the same thing, right? Make sure K heavy hash. And then all you would do is go here and then click start mining or start benchmarks, which would be right here. And that's going to start your benchmarks. I've already done mine, obviously. It's going to give you a bunch of other algorithms also, depending if you have them selected, which you, if you want a profit switch, so every time there's a more profitable run going on for a certain algorithm, it'll automatically switch to that. So it's always going to run you the most profitable thing. But like I said, for this tutorial, you want to select K-Heavy Hash, which is Caspa. And once it's all done benchmarking everything, 
you can go over here and click start mining or it might automatically start mining. But if it hasn't, you just click start mining here. And as you see, the miner comes up, detects all my cards. And as you see, mining it says, you can go over to devices and you can monitor all your temperatures, your load, your fan speed, everything of the sort. And if you just give it, sometimes it takes a few seconds or like a minute to get your, how much you're gonna make per day or whatever. But it all varies right now. Cash has kind of been going lower and lower each day. It seems I know the market itself is not doing well, but Caspa was doing pretty well for mining aspect of things, but lately just kind of been slowly dropping like penny by penny here. But as we see here, that's how much I'm making per day. Nothing crazy. Like I said, I don't have a crazy setup to begin with, but I'm not looking to uh, make a profit out of this right now. I'm just mining because I like the technology and I believe in it. I just enjoy cryptocurrency and mining in a whole. So I always just go ahead and just mine no matter what. I'll pay the difference in the hydro. And one day if it gets back to where it was, then we'll be really laughing then. But anywho, I just wanted to quickly show you guys. So once it's all up and running, you have all your profits and you're all good to go. And then of course you can use MSI Afterburner because there's no built-in like overclock or underclock settings on the app. You just use MSI Afterburner and then that will detect your graphics cards and then you can obviously just edit everything. And then it'll, sometimes you have to restart nice hash after you applied an overclock or underclock. Sometimes you don't have to. And you'll see your profits and everything just as is. But now I'm just going to pop over the computer for one last second here. And then, yeah, that's pretty well it for this part of the video. All right, so that's pretty well it for today's video. That's it for today's tutorial. I just wanted to quickly also mention I haven't really been uploading this past like week or so just because I'm getting still settled into my own apartment. I'm back on a full-time work schedule. So I'm kind of adjusting everything, getting used to being back where like back on my own, on my own apartment, you know, just balancing life. And then I'm going to be getting back into the routine of uploading. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know so that way, you know, I'm not like abandoning the channel or slowing down my uploads. It was just for this past week or so. I just wanted to get comfortable and back to my normal living here. But other than that, that's pretty well it. If you did enjoy this tutorial and you found it helpful, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you guys are enjoying this content, you're still enjoying my tutorials, and they're even helping people. Like, that's even better. That's all I got for you guys. I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.